Hi, this is Sandra Peoples, and this video is how to create an Amazon Kindle Direct KDP publishing account. I'm going to show you how to create the account and how to upload your first book to the Amazon publishing platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the internet here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so when in order to access the KDP platform, you would have to go up here to your toolbar here and you would type in uh, HTTPS semicolon, I mean colons, then uh, your two checks, kdp.amazon.com. Anyway, type in the address <laughs> up there in the bar. You would be a new user. So you, what you would have to do is go here to sign up for an Amazon account. Now, in order to uh, use the Amazon account, you would have to have a valid email address. So I'm going to type in a valid email address here. Now, once you have uh, clicked that and you click the button to uh, set up your account, you wouldn't have to have a password there because you would create that later. You would have clicked your new user. So in this area here, you have to fill out your name, email address, and you have to, of course, uh, get a password, and then you're going to go to create an account. Now, I don't want to do all this because I already have an account with Amazon, so what I'm going to do is go in and show you, um, well, I'll just go, I'll just create an account now. Okay, so I'm going to type in my name and all that information and password, and then I'll come back. Okay, so once you've entered your information and you click create an account, it's going to take you to this page um, that says read and accept the Kindle Direct Publishing Terms of Service. Once you get to that page, then you're going to touch uh, agree. So you're going to click there. Now, that's going to open up another screen for you. And when you get to that screen, you're going to see bookshelf, you're going to see reports, you're going to see community, KDP select. Now, um, up here you're going to see where it says your account information is incomplete. To publish a book, you will need to complete this. You're going to say uh, complete this. This is incomplete. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my account now, and I'm going to show you how you can get to Okay, so once you've done all that, you know, you have to go into the uh, create an account. Uh, once you've created an account and all that stuff, then you're going to get to this page. Your page is brand new, so it's going to say add your title at the bottom there. But when you get ready to add your title, you're going to click add new title. Then it's going to take you to another page. Now, this page here, um, let me see if I can move this screen down some. This page here where you're at, it's going to show you uh, all about your book and all of that stuff. And you're going to have to add information in about your book. Uh, you're going to have to, of course, uh, give the title of the book. You're going to have to... Uh, now, KDP Select, if you select to enroll your book in KDP Select, that means you won't be able to sell your book on Smashwords or any other uh, ebook store. Your book will have to be not even from your own website. Your ebook will have to be sold exclusively through Kindle, through uh, Amazon. So uh, that's something you might want to consider if you want to uh, start out with Amazon first to see how it's going to go. But I suggest that you wait before you enroll your book in KDP Select. KDP Select has a lot of benefits for new authors, but um, I suggest that if you are not sure if you want to just sell your book on Amazon or not, do not click enroll in KDP Select because then your book will be sold exclusively on Amazon for 90 days. You won't be able to take it out. Now you get down here where it says enter your book details. That's where you're going to put the title of your book. If your book has a subtitle, you're going to put that there. Um, then you get down to other information about your book, the publisher, the description. In this description right here, you're going to want to make sure that you put in a very eye-catching description, but you're going to want to also make sure that your description has enough information in it to where search engines can find your book. If people, for instance, type in uh, romance, Michigan romance, then you're going to want to make sure that somewhere in your description, Michigan romance is in the description. That way, Google 
will pick up somebody searching for Michigan romances and this book deals with Michigan romance so let me fix it where they can find this book and that's how that works uh, so then you go down uh, to book contributors of course that's where you click there and you add yourself and uh, the language the publication date all of this is pretty self-explanatory when you get down to where it says um, target your book customers their categories here when you click there it's going to show you the different categories that you can put your book in uh, drama this shows all of them but you can break them up into either fiction or nonfiction and you can choose two categories that your book would be sold in in the Amazon store so you want to think carefully about those then you get down here to where it says upload or create a book cover um, once your book cover is all created all you have to do is click here to browse for the image and then you'll be able to upload that image directly here and um, it'll be there for people to see and then the next part it says to uh, upload your book file when you get to this part well after you click browse for your cover image a screen is going to pop up that asks if you want to save this click you want to save it and then it's going to take you to the file it's going to take you right to the page where you can uh, upload your book content you will click here to browse for that book content and that will be whatever the name of your book is you upload it to here and that's it then you will save and continue then when you get to your next page it's going to ask you how much you want to charge for your book and all of that kind of stuff so give me a minute and I'm going to go to that page so you can see what that okay so after you've done all that you're going to be on your second page that says rights and pricing and on this page here you would always click worldwide rights because you want your book to be sold all over the world then your royalty depending on how much you want your book to cost in the bookstore um, if you pick 35 percent for the royalty your book has to be at least 99 cent if you and you're only going to get 35 percent of the book sales if you choose a 70 percent royalty then you will get um, 70 percent of whatever you put there but your book has to be at least 2.99 for it to be sold for uh, to get the 70 percent royalty I don't worry about these white boxes because um, you have to enroll in KDP to sell your book in India uh, in order to get the 70 percent discount the 70 percent royalty in India uh, Japan and all those other places then you will of course come down here to where it says uh, allow book lending that's going to be automatic you're going to click here where it says by click save and publish below you confirm then uh, you will click save and publish and your book will be ready to publish and that's pretty much it you won't be able to publish your book though unless you have your account completely set up with Amazon so uh, once you do that then your book will be ready to publish and you'll be ready to go and that's how you set your book up on Amazon pretty easy huh alright so if by any chance you have any questions about anything uh, you can always email me at cosan at gmail.com and I will uh, gladly answer any questions. Till next time.